Hi everyone, it's Annalisa and welcome. I want to talk about having a preference with your Divine Masculine in this Twin Flame journey. And if you are listening to me, you would be the Divine Feminine. It's real important to not have a preference with your Divine Masculine. And I know this is really hard and can be really difficult for the Divine Feminine because if you are in that waiting energy and waiting for your Divine Masculine to come back to you, then you are still preferring to be with them. And this journey doesn't allow preference because if you are preferring to be with your Divine Masculine, then that means that you are still attached and you're waiting for an outcome. And this journey is about being in your sovereign being. This is about not having any preference because when you are in soul, you don't have any preference. The soul doesn't have a preference whether you are in uh, a relationship or a connection, I should say, with your divine masculine. The soul doesn't care that you are with them or not, or if you are with a soulmate. So if you are still in that waiting energy uh, and still waiting to be with your divine masculine and not going on with your life, that means there's still fear there. And that is part of your root chakra, which still has to be cleared, right? Because it is only in the mind that you are wanting your Divine Masculine and seeing them as a separate person. Your Divine Masculine is not separate from you. Your Divine Masculine is you. So having a preference means that you're waiting for them, that you'd rather not be with anyone else and that you'd rather have your Divine Masculine. And that will not work. In this journey that will keep you looping unfortunately in this journey so yeah I thought this was um, really important to talk about because this has come up before uh, especially in my coaching uh, with some um, individuals that I coach so yeah no preferences and that means that you come first that it doesn't matter who comes into your life because what happens sometimes is that the universe will bring you a soulmate uh, for a specific time frame and that soulmate may come into your life to help raise your vibration and to help you in whatever lessons perhaps um, that uh, it still needs to be worked on. So being open to uh, anyone else coming into your life uh, if it feels right. Now, if it doesn't feel right, I certainly would not recommend just jumping into any other relationship because this is a spiritual awakening, right? This is a spiritual connection that you have with your divine masculine, unlike any other connection. This is not about your uh, divine masculine, right? Because your divine masculine is you. You are the same soul. You are the same soul signature you are the same soul frequency so if you are still desiring them and you still prefer to be with them again that just shows that there's still some inner work to do and there's still some energy to shift and you want to shift into that energy of soul and when you shift into that energy of soul you're in a beautiful state and you don't have any preference whether it will be your Divine Masculine that comes back in, which they will come back in because it is your soul. And that's the paradox. And that's the beauty of this connection is that when you are in soul and your vibration is high, you magnetize in your Divine Masculine because they are you. So you don't have to worry about them coming back in. It's already a given. And then you can choose what you want to do. But if you're waiting and if you are searching out information about your uh, the, the whole twin flame connection and you want to align to soul because you know that that will get you your divine masculine, that's also an expectation that you have. 
and expectations do not work also on this journey. You cannot have any expectations of your divine masculine at all, none, zero. <laughs> and that becomes really hard for the divine feminine because when they are magnetized back in, because you did not have a preference, and you begin to balance the energy and they come back in, you also cannot have expectations of at all um, of your divine masculine. And this is really important because if you do expect them to behave a certain way, or you expect them to do things for you, or you expect anything at all, they will only pull away. So it's really important to not have any zero, zero expectations and or a preference of them coming in. And as you step into that soul energy, you will really feel that shift. And when you feel that shift of just loving yourself and being in that beautiful soul energy where it doesn't matter anymore, it just doesn't matter. And you'll know when you reach that shift because whether they text you or whether they let a whole month go by, it just doesn't matter. You just bring all that energy back to you. You work on you and you're fine. And if someone else comes into your life that brings love and brings joy into your life and you're open to a relationship, then that's beautiful. So be open to that. And some divine feminines, that never happens to that person. And you will not get it, a soulmate come in. And that is perfectly fine too. Not everyone gets someone else uh, that comes into their life. Um, but what I want to just refocus on is just not preferring your divine masculine because there's still attachments there and you want to let go of all of that. This journey is about transcending the mind, not being in mind anymore. And that's where fear comes in when you're in mind, right? There's nothing to fear on this journey. Nothing at all to fear. Because you know your soul has got you. Your soul will orchestrate everything that you need. And that is the beauty of this journey is that you have nothing to fear. All you have to do is just be really nothing. There's nothing to do but just align with your soul and listen to your intuition. Go with the flow. Surrender to the universe. No preference. No expectations. Nothing. Just let it all go. Just be. Just be in the present moment. Bring it all back to the present moment. And that's where you will find the most amazing peace and calm and joy and bliss <laughs> and that's what this journey is all about it's so beautiful because you have nothing to worry about once you are in a state of just surrender and a high vibration knowing that your creator has got your back as long as you're trusting and you are going inwards. This is an inward journey. This is not an outward journey. The answers are not out there. They're not out there. They are in here. They are inward. All your answers come from within. And trusting your soul. So yeah, no preference, no expecting an outcome, right? If I buy this program, I expect to be in soul and I expect my divine masculine to come back. It's not gonna work because you cannot manipulate the universe. Your intention has to be pure, right? So it's all about intention. Your intention has to be to align with your soul, to have peace in your life, to have joy, to be in soul purpose, if that is a calling for you, and to help humanity, help raise the, the, the vibration of the planet and to expand your consciousness to know that you are consciousness, you are energy, and that's what this journey is all about. So let go of any preference, any expectations at all, and this will make this ride that you're going on, this path, 
this unknown path a lot easier. If you need more help, feel free to go on my website, inthehiddenkingdom.com. Sending you all so much love.